Hello and welcome to the next home system test and I honestly don't remember which one it is but we're just gonna go with it. Um, today we've got a few different devices and an unfortunate event happened. First of all, the Raspberry Pi is still up and running, still going strong, still working. In the uh, little bit of testing I've done as I set up the system, I got plenty of texts from it. So um, there's, I plan to put a video out later this week, probably on Wednesday of this week, so in two days, um, where I'll explain how to set this up and exactly everything to do with it. So it's very cool. We still have the control module here. I put screws in it this time instead of holding it up with duct tape. Uh, the screws are not the original screws. I don't know where they, the original screws are, but this still does nothing. For the pull station, we have the FCI MS2 um, and a... The, well, the module is out here because the MS2 has this 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 big piece that goes back there, and I just couldn't get it to fit in a single gang box, um, unfortunately. So I'd have to get a bigger box, but I wasn't too worried about it. So I kind of tucked the wires off to the side. I could have had the module up here instead of off to the side, but you know what? It works just fine, and I'm not killing the wires. Going back up, we have a system sensor low frequency sounder. This is set on continuous. Uh, it is super loud, to my surprise, actually. Um, probably would not like that noise, to be honest with you. I, I thought I'd like it more than the high-pitched screeching, and I don't think I do. Uh, we still have the same heat detector over here. Uh, we got a sprinkler head. That's just tied into our, our cold water system. It's just for the furnace. Uh, we'll follow that wire. Still didn't get anything to actually t tack that up properly. It's just tape. Heat detector, I'm not going to test it because I don't know if I can do raterize on this um, and I don't want to set it off. So I could short it out, but I already know that works. That hasn't changed. So <clears throat> here's the unfortunate thing about the system. If we follow the wires over as we normally do, mostly because I don't want to show you guys all the mess of the storage room that we're in, you'll notice the detector's LEDs aren't flashing and that's because it returned excessively dirty two or just dirty two which is basically means death so I contacted the seller who I got this from and said hey you know it worked for a little bit and then it died and so we'll see if he says anything and we'll see if I can get a replacement but that's okay so we're just without the smoke detector for a while over here the not spectra alert anymore it's just the system sensor p2rl um, did a video about this, kind of showcased it. Wasn't too proud of it. Um, so I, I decided to do a little more with it this time. And if we follow the wire down. By the way, I had somebody message me and ask me about these. These are paintings that I did as a little child. And, and this mess is just, this is where the cat likes to lay down here. So my cat lays down here. That's why it's covered in cat fur. When I was very young, I painted those. In case anyone was curious. That's probably the best thing I ever did. I'm not an artist. And then we got an NBG12LX that I converted into a BG12L. Um, NBG12L and just needs the um, uh, module that's in the back here. So we're going to go ahead and start here today. up on the sink um, the the alright so I just got the text saying that uh, fire alarm has been received for this location control module lit up um, the reason this is done continuous because it doesn't actually work with system sensor sync I learned I figured it would because it's a system sensor device, why wouldn't you just put it on the same circuit? But no, it doesn't work with sync. So there's that. Um, let's go ahead and realarm with the FCI MS2. All right, we're gonna come back over here real quick. Just so you can see, we've got the uh, audible silence going on the P2RL. One alarm I don't have yet is a system sensor. I've got a Spectral Alert Classic, 
I don't have a Spectre Alert Advance. So, I've got the P2RL. I, I like, skipped a generation. I'd like to get one of those, but uh, that's okay. Now, for the keys, let's go ahead and reset the whole station here. I've got way too many keys. Potter. I don't know. I'm at the wrong side of this. Nope, I'm not. Notifier. That's what I want. Guys, keys are really something. But as a fire alarm tech, you will learn to, I don't know, eat, I guess. Alright, so that should be reset. And again, smoke detector does nothing because I took it out of programming to keep the system normal uh, while it's reporting a dirty signal. And as for the FCI key, this is my cap 45, and then this should be FCI. Cap 45 is Edwards in case anyone's curious. Ugh. This lock gets a little sticky, and I think it's my fault. Oops. There we go. So I don't know if that'll just flip down. I think I gotta do the switch, but that's fine. This uh, pull station was actually purchased from uh, KCIN. I don't know how to pronounce his name. The Kachin? I don't know. Um, and now his numbers are blanking from my mind. KCI, it, 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 it's just popping up on the screen right now, if I program it right. Kachin. What is it, 556? Sure, I don't know. We're just going to go on. <laughs> um, so I'm not too worried about any of this. We're going to go ahead and reset and make sure it doesn't go into alarm again. Now, um, I wanted to do another video, which was going to use the smoke detector um, and show off how to program a um, sen sensor base to... Uh, or sorry, a sounder base to activate for that device, which, uh, as soon as I popped the device in there, it reported excessively dirty, so, that video will have to hold off, um, and that's kind of where we stay right now, so, in a second here, we should see it say system normal, here we are, it's 9.50 p.m., I'm sure my mother loves me right now, considering she's the only one home, and the dogs for sure love it, so, we're just gonna let this sit, and that is the home system test for today.